Welcome back to Elder Scrolls. Let's continue where we stopped. It's gonna be the same old routine. Just kill a bunch of... Uh, We got a Bone Colossus, nice. shelves here. Let's see if we can... So far it seems like we've read uh, most of the books. you to have a good memory. <laughs> I'm not sure I remember exactly what order. I'm not sure I remember exactly what order that happened in. I think this was next. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. <clears throat> Let's try it again. No way in hell Look, I was prepared. Something's happening. Can you see them? The alien spirits. Watch which tiles they go to. Okay, that was first. Then this was activated next. Each tile is Third. marked with a constellation. Perhaps if we repeat the actions of the spirits, we can Fourth. open the barrier that blocks our way. Fifth. You did it! The barrier has disappeared. We can move on and try to find the portal chamber now. Okay, so what exactly was blocking us? stick uh, to the script and just keep moving. I knew you would find the chamber. 
and open the portal. Yep, so what's next? As our troops emerge from the portal and take up position outside, you need to make your way to the second portal chamber. Once you activate that portal, we can get the troops that much closer to the top of the Doom Crag. So what happens after that? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We must step through each door we come upon in turn. For now, you need to reach the second portal chamber. Go on. The second portal chamber. It's amazing how we get to do all the legwork for practically everyone in Tamriel. But uh, let's put this on the map first before we move forward. a fight. I'm itching for a fight. obvious way to disable it. Let's see about Ravis. The time of flowing water, the pale rose of dawning time. Awake now, reaching for golden light. All is new, all is bright. Ravis. The time of sweet water. That must refer to spring rains. Awake! The long eons of silence have finally come to an end. I speak in the coarse tongue of our servants, so that you may understand. Knowledge is the key that opens this door, and none may pass who have not gained knowledge. So what kind of knowledge are you talking about? To the knowledge of which I speak, you must understand the cycle of time to pass beyond this chamber. When you feel you are ready, my riddle shall begin. Okay. A time of ending harvest and slaughter as dusk falls across the land, feast before famine. A plethora of bounties. The time of green and growth, long days and short nights, abundant life, endless sun. The green shine? That's close, but not quite right. I'm guessing this refers to summer. the iron gray time, seeping into bones and roots, snow and ice cover the land as the world dies before being reborn. Angar? That could mean iron. Or cold. I suppose this one refers to winter. So, Angar? Angar? Winter. That could mean iron. Or cold. I suppose this, this is one summer. The green shine? That's close, but not quite. The dark light. Dusk. I think this one is referring to autumn. Awake! Tell me, what is the time of dawning? Of birth and nourishing rain? Ah, oh, come on. Um, I think that's spring. I think this one is referring to autumn. This is winter. Angar? 
I need spring. That could mean iron or coal. The green shine? That's close, but not Awake! Quite right. Tell me, what is the time of first to summer? Oh, so that Awake. was wrong. Awake! Tell me, what is the time moves forward as sweet, flowing water, yep. a time of light and joy and abundant growth. Long hot days give way to short hot nights. Oh. I know this is winter. Let's head back. I'm not trying to. Yep. The green shine? That's close, but not. Awake! Quite right. A time of light and joy and abundant growth. The cycle advances. As the golden sun fills each, yep. and end comes to all things. And like dust. Oh, what? I messed it up? Awake! And end comes to all things. And like dust comes before the night. This cycle comes before the gray of iron death. <sighs> that must be fall. one is referring to autumn awake and end comes to all things a time of reaping yes tell me true if you really wish to pass the last cycle yep all when done our duty has been fulfilled we held the barrier in place until the proper time which you unlocked by understanding the rhythm of the cycles and like those cycles our time has come to an end you may pass in peace the barrier has fallen the portal chamber should be just a short way ahead. The Doom Crag waits just beyond this chamber. The Doom Crag and Baron Montclair. Just beyond this chamber. The Doom Crag and Baron Montclair. Before that, what's this? Darkness, darkest darkness. In Marwyn, both worshippers and sorcerers summon Lesser Daedra and Bound Daedra as servants and instruments. Most Daedric servants can be summoned by sorcerers for very brief periods within the most fragile and tenuous frameworks of command and binding. This fortunately limits their capacity for mischief, although in a few minutes, most of these servants can do terrible harm to their summoners as well as their enemies. Worshippers may bind other Daedric servants to this plane through rituals and pacts. Such arrangements result in the Daedric servant remaining on this plane indefinitely, or at least until their bodily manifestation on this plane are destroyed, precipitating the return to, of their supernatural essences to oblivion. Whenever Daedra are encountered at Daedric ruins or in tombs, they are almost invariably long-term visitors to our plane. Likewise, lesser entities bound by their Daedra lords into the weapons and armor may be summoned for brief periods, or they may persist indefinitely, so long as they are not destroyed and banished. The class of bound weapons and bound armors summoned by temple followers and conjurers are examples of short-term bindings. Daedric artifacts like, Mea, like Merun's Razor and Mask of Clavicus Val are examples of long-term bindings. The Tribunal Temple of Marwyn has incorporated the veneration of Daedra as lesser spirit subver subversions to the immortal um, CV, the Trine Godhead of Almalexia, Sosa Sail, and Vivek. <clears throat> oh! After all this time, I finally get it. I, I used to wonder what Alm CV was. So it's Almalexia, Sil, and V for Vivek. I, I used to wonder all these years, I was like, what the hell does Alm CV mean? <laughs> Slow, I'm a little bit slow. Um, these subordinate Daedra are divided into the good Daedra and the bad Daedra. The good Daedra have willingly submitted to the authority of Amsivi. 
The bad reader are rebels who defile on CB, treacherous kin who are more often adversaries and ab more often adversaries than allies. The good day are Boethia, Azura, and Mephala. The hunger is a powerful and violent lesser daedra associated with Boethia, father of plots, a sinuous, long limbed, long tailed creature with a beast scald head, noted for its paralyzing touch and its ability to disintegrate weapons and armor. The Winged Twilight is a messenger of Azura, goddess of dusk and dawn. Winged Twilights resemble the feral harpies of the West, though the feminine aspects of the Winged Twilights are more ravishing, and their long sharp tails are immeasurably more deadly. Spider Daedra are the servants of Mephala, taking the form of spider humanoid centaurs with a naked upper head, torso, and arms of human proportions, mounted on the eight legs and armored carapace of a giant spider. Unfortunately, these Daedra are so fierce and irrational that they cannot be trusted to heed the commands of the spinner. As a consequence, few sorcerers are willing to either summon or bind such creatures in Morrowind. The bad Daedra are Mehrun's Dagon, Malakath, Shirgorath, and Wallach Ball. Three lesser Daedra are associated with Mehrun's Dagon, the Agile and the Pesky Scam, the Ferocious and Beast-like Clanfair, and the Noble and Daily Dramora. The Crocodile-headed humanoid Daedra called the Daedroth is a servant of Wallach Ball, while the giant but dim-witted Ogrim is a servant of Malakath. Shirgorath's lesser Daedra, the Golden Saint, a half-clothed human female in appearance, is highly resistant to magic and a dangerous spellcaster. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Another type of lesser Daedra often encountered in Morrowind is the Atronarch, or Elementary Daedra. Atronarchs have no binding kinship or alignments with the Daedra Lords, stopping one realm or another at whim, shifting sides according to seduction, compulsion, or opportunity. Good to know. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever get used to traveling by portal. One moment you're there, the next moment you're here. It's positively disconcerting. So how fares the battle, Baron? Better than I expected. We met with some resistance. But thanks to your efforts, we've been able to move our troops quickly through this death trap. So are we ready to assault the Doomcrag? We should be, once everyone has come through the portal. Why don't you check with Count Ravenwatch and see if he's ready? I hate to say it, but his knowledge has been invaluable on in all this. Once again, you succeeded at the task set before you. Well done, my friend. I think everyone is here. The pass is ours. A battle won. But the war rages on. We must reach the Lightness Remnant and destroy it. But Montclair will grow more desperate the closer we get to that cursed relic. Are you ready, my friend? Once more into the breach. Yeah, 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 let's go. I fear that Montclair will have a surprise or two waiting for us within the Doomcrag. I suddenly have the feeling that bringing an army up here was a terrible mistake. What are you talking about? Never mind that now. We must reach the Lightness Remnant and end this madness. Tell the troops to remain here. They need to make sure none of Montclair's soldiers follow us up into the Doomcrag. So you had us bring all the troops just to stand guard? Do not question me. If my orders aren't followed to the letter, Montclair will defeat us and Rivenspire will be lost. Talk to Countess Tamarath and Baron Dora. Tell them what I have said. Then meet me at the bridge that leads to the Doomcrag. All right, I'll pass on your order to Dora and Tamarath. Even though I some, I really like the way he's talking to me like he's my commander of sorts. What word, my friend? Is Verandas ready for the troops to ascend the Doomcrag? He has ordered the troops to remain here and guard our flank. Remain behind? And deny them the glory of being there when we achieve victory? Never! When Verandas starts his march to the top of the Doomcrag, we will be with him every step of the way. Well, he's right about Montclair's forces regrouping behind us. I'll leave enough soldiers to protect our flank, but our best soldiers are coming with me. Tell the Count that we're coming with him, whether he likes it or not. I was afraid you'd say that. Okay. Do you believe that man? And to think, I thought him to be dashing and heroic. But enough of such matters. You aren't here to discuss my personal life. Tell me, what news from Count Ravenwatch? Are we ready to march against Montclair? Uh, Verandas wants the troops to, to stay here and guard our flank. And as a little girl, I wanted a pet guar I could decorate with ribbons and call Penelope. But we don't always get what we want, especially in war. The Light has guided us this far. It is not done with us yet. So you're not gonna do as he asks? I thought I made that clear. The Count has been an invaluable ally, but he is not in charge of this expedition. My troops have served us well. They deserve to see this through to the end. Tell the Count that we're going with him to Doomcrag. 
Aye, aye. Okay. You, you guys will sort yourselves out. Hold, mortal. You must go no farther. Alright. I'll heed your warning, and we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more Elder Scrolls Online.